Everyone knows that one of the most important systems you can have in your floating boat is one that can pump unwanted water out. After we made sure our electric bilge pump worked, the next step was to plumb it back into the bilge, which of course meant removing the cabin sole, again. If you're familiar with our story, it shouldn't be a surprise when we say that we decided to take the non-traditional approach. Normally, when plumbing on a boat, a trip to the local marine store is in order to purchase some outrageously expensive flexible hose. Instead, we decided to be more creative and plumb our pumps with PVC. So after a bike trip to the local hardware store, it was time to get to plumbing. But when it comes to PVC, unlike the flexible hoses, it's pretty straight. Which is why heat guns are amazing. You can use it to easily reshape or expand any piece to fit your needs. is one inch ID inside diameter and this is inch and an eighth OD outside diameter so I'm hoping I'll be able to just squish it right in there and now it's inch and an eighth it's like locks into place There are many reasons why we chose PVC. It's easy to work with, incredibly durable, and best of all, it's affordable. We even added a repair coupling so we could easily remove the pump if needed. Once we dry fit all the pieces, it was time to make the connections permanent and watertight. A battle scar. Hello, my name is Mr. Cut. I like to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> While we were at it, we also took this opportunity to replumb the manual bilge pump as well.
But before we could connect the PVC to the manual pump, we needed to remove it. Turns out, the inside was so corroded that we'll just have to replace it. Since we were still in the H2O spirit, we hooked a few other things back up too. First, we figured out a way to upcycle the old engine raw water strainer for our salt water pump. It works great. We also connected our fresh water tanks. Yep, no more of that kind of water storage. We're going to be installing a little filter, pre-pump filter to make sure no crud and junk makes it into the pump itself from our water tanks. We will soon find a way to plumb in a rainwater catchment system on board. Definitely looking forward to that. And of course, we're excited to share with you our next step. But until then, cheers! Wait, that's not the song. <laughs>